Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Christopher Bell's 2021 first career win from the Daytona Road Course. Uh, this was obviously a race that... Um, to this day, grinds my gears a little bit. NASCAR threw an entertainment caution uh, and basically cost us a shot at possible history. Uh, I think with Elliott winning at Coda, it would have been uh, up to, I believe, six in a row for uh, him at road courses, which would have tied, in my opinion, the modern era goat of Jeff Gordon. So that was unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at its 164th scale diecast review today. Um, we have obviously taken a look at the 124th Dual Autograph Elite. We've got that one um, in the collection already. But this one we're going to be just taking a look at the metal chassis 164. So we'll slide the car off and then we'll take a look at the, just the, the packaging here. You can see we have die cast body and chassis, 30 years of Joe Gibbs Racing. Joe Gibbs Racing on the bottom of the box, limited edition adult collectible on the right side. And then the car is just in the, the clear part. The window uh, allows the fan or whoever's purchasing the car to see you know, look at the car that they're buying, make sure that nothing looks too crazy, like, I don't know, a number upside down, seen a couple of those so far, um, but yeah, so we go to this side here, we got our barcode along with the NASCAR logo, go to the back side, we've got action, still the choice of champions, limited edition adult collectible, and then die cast body and chassis on the right side, and then we go to this side here where it says Christopher Bell, Ream, Daytona win, 2021 Camry, limited edition, and then that, that next part is just a, uh, just a regular old part number. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this car here. Uh, we'll go ahead and set it there. We'll go ahead and zoom it in to the two times, and we'll get looking at it right there. So the first thing you notice as you go down the left side, we do have the donut mark on the on the door here, right up there at the front. You can see a little bit on that left front fender, but not too much. Uh, right there on the door, obviously, we do have the the wheel well or the the tire marks. Uh, we do have the rubber tires, obviously. Christopher Bell up there on the name rail, a little little out of place. Looks like it's a little high up there, but not the worst. Um, we got Ream over here, Rude, and um, then we got Interstate Batteries and PristineAuctions.com on the left rear corner panel, along with the ethanol ring over there uh, on the right side. Go to the back of the car. You can see we've got Ream.com. We've got Ream on the deck lid as well. Bell on the rear window. Uh, Toyota on the bumper. And then uh, number 20 and Ream.com up there on the roof. As we go to the right side, little mark up there on the top of the 2 and the 0. You can see a little black mark there. Um, as well as there's a mark over here on the left rear or the right rear corner panel. Another tire mark back there. But overall, the right side stays a little bit cleaner than the left. Uh, until you get up to the right front corner, that is. Once you get up to the right front corner, you can see there is a clear spot where it is dented in. Probably just from some race contact late in that race. You know, guys on new tires were running over guys with old tires, and that included quite a bit of contact. So you can see where that is on the right front fender. The Goodyear mark, there's a big black line or kind of a ring around that. So uh, I assume that would also be something from that contact going back and forth. Uh, we go back to the nose. You can see we got Bell on the front windshield, and then on the very nose, a little bit of tape on the grill, and then our Toyota front end, but nothing too crazy. Uh, you can see on that car as well, we got Ream on the hood and on the red on each side that does kind of flow on this paint scheme nice. A really decent paint scheme, really does flow nicely with the with the car. Um, but yeah, overall, the race version in Elite was really good, so this is a pretty solid um, race version for 164th. Great for uh, anybody that's doing the stop motions too, because you do get some race damage on here that you can always add in later if you're ever uh, wanting to have a rub. Then you just throw this car on there and it's slightly raced, which allows you to have some pretty cool... Pretty cool moments, so you don't have to customize or custom crash one or something if you don't have to. But um, Anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Uh, as with all the other Metal Chassis diecasts, if you are interested, check them out, resdiecast.com. Links are in the description. Uh, but other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.